Hey guys, it's Jenny with Art for Good. So today we're continuing the conversation about selling your art at an art fair. And today we're talking specifically about pricing, which I don't know about you, but it can be a little bit awkward to figure out how to price your artwork. I mean, you may be in love with something that you put out and my biggest fear is that to put something out that I spent a lot of time and effort on that I'm really happy with and then to have someone say, you're charging how much for that? So I think a lot of artists feel that way, especially as they're beginners. So I'm gonna give you some of my tips and then at the very end, I'm gonna go over what my specific pricing strategy is. So let's get into it. So tip number one is to do your research. So you want to find artists that are similar to you in terms of the medium they're using, the style that they're using. Um, also, you want to make sure that they're on the same level as you in terms of number of years of experience, right? Because as a beginner, you know, it may not make sense for you to be pricing your art at the same level that someone who's been spending, you know, has spent 20 years making a whole career out of art and is really a master of their craft. So you want to find somebody who's on a similar level and then go to their Etsy shop, go to their website, see how much they're pricing their artwork for. Or you can also go to art fairs and you can see how much people are charging there as well. Tip number two is to think about your goal. Is your goal just to really, you know, get rid of some paintings that you've done so you can clear up space? Um, do you really just want to recoup the costs that it, it took for you to produce some art so you can keep creating art? Or are you really trying to make a serious, you know, gig out of this or even a full-time career? And that's really going to help guide you and be sort of your north star, right, in terms of what's going to help you set your prices. Tip number three is you need a range of prices. You need a range of products at different price points, I should say. Um, not everyone can walk around and spend hundreds or thousands of dollars at an art fair. And so you need some lower priced items that can be sort of enticing and hit that price point, but you also want some kind of slightly out of reach items or some higher priced items that uh, may be larger in scale that for somebody or a buyer that comes by that has the means to do so. So it's a good strategy to have a range of prices as well as if you're just getting started, I would recommend only having one or two big pieces and then having much more smaller items so that people have more of an opportunity to find what they like. Tip number four is don't price too low. This is a psychological thing, right? If you have a 16 by 20 original piece of art and you're selling it for $20, you're probably not even barely covering the costs of the supplies to make that piece, but also you're sending sort of a subconscious message to the buyer that there's your art isn't worth it. It isn't worth more than $20, or they might even think something's wrong with it. So you wanna be careful about pricing your art too low. Start by calculating the costs that you went into producing an item and then kind of mark it up from there what you think would be a reasonable market price and also factor in the time you spent on it as well. Tip number five is also don't price your art too high, right? If you're just getting started, it doesn't make sense for you to be marking up your artwork to be, you know, thousands of dollars, right? Like some of these professional artists do. So don't feel like that's where your pricing should be as well. Start with a lower price point and then over the years, as you start to get better and better at your craft and start to develop a following, you can start raising your prices. It takes a little patience, but it's definitely the right way to go. Just a quick pause for a minute. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I have a lot of great tips on how to sell your art, the business of art, as well as practical tips like how to frame your pieces or building your own frames, things like that. All right. The last tip, tip number six, is about my personal pricing strategy and what I found to be successful when I went to my first art fair. So I started with offering some prints. My prints ranged from about $10 to $30, depending on the size. I had three different sizes and those sold pretty well. I mean, I think I sold a few prints and when I did my research at the art fair, those were actually on point with what other people were charging for their prints. I also placed my small originals like eight by tens or eight by eights or small original canvases that I practice on or do, you know, sometimes I'll use a small one when I'm trying a new technique. I placed those in a big browse bin and I sold them for about 25 to $35. And those went really well, actually. I sold several of those 
So if you have those laying around, um, you feel comfortable putting them out there, consider creating a browse bin. It worked really well for me. I also was selling jewelry on site and I sold those for $10, mostly earrings, $10 a piece or two for $15. And those were by far my most popular item. Uh, they were very unique. As you know, paint port jewelry is, um, you know, definitely different and it's beautiful. And really the cost to produce jewelry is, it was $2 a piece for me. So that was a great profit margin to help recoup the cost of renting the booth space at the art fair. My originals range from price to, from $85 to $395 for a big 36 by 36 framed piece. So, um, Again, a wide variety of price points. And what I've done is uh, gone ahead and put all of my products and my sort of pricing strategy out there on my Etsy shop. So I will put the link here and in the description below. Go visit my Etsy shop and pay attention to sort of the sizes of original items as well as what the prices that I'm charging. I did sell a few big pieces on site that was very helpful. Um, and so I think I got a really good feedback on my pricing. Actually, I had several people walk by and say, wow, that's not bad. You know, for example, one of my signature pieces that I had out front was um, $175 for a 16 by 20 gallery wrap with resin. And they said, wow, that's not bad. You know, I heard that quite a, quite a bit. So that was confirmation that I wasn't on, that I was on track with my pricing strategy for someone who was just starting out for the first time. I actually had a couple people tell me I should be charging more, but my personal reason for doing the art fair was to kind of clear out some inventory and recoup some costs of some of the supplies that I had spent and so that I could keep creating art. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please put, put your thoughts in the comments below, or if you have any other topics you'd like me to cover, please go ahead and do that in the comments, and I'll see you next time.